Hello and welcome to the Service Fusion QuickBooks Online informational video. In this video, we'll cover the online edition, but Service Fusion was designed to work with both QuickBooks Desktop and online. If you're a desktop user but plan on upgrading to online at some point in the future, your transition within Service Fusion will be seamless. It is literally just two mouse clicks. To start, I'd like to show you some settings that you can configure on the Service Fusion site when working with QuickBooks. You can choose your platform, US or international. If you're a Canadian operator, you would choose the international option. You can have Service Fusion automatically synchronize your data as transactions occur, or you can choose to do it manually when you do your accounting, daily, weekly, or however frequently you do it. You can choose to track classes. If you track classes in QuickBooks, you can just simply mimic that setup in Service Fusion, and you can do it on a per transaction or per line item level. You can also have Service Fusion automatically retry syncing any failed transactions. For example, if there was an issue with an API or something may have happened on our end, the system will automatically retry if these settings are enabled. You can also configure your chart of accounts, your inventory asset account, your cost of goods sold, sales accounts for products, services, labor items, miscellaneous fees, just about anything that you would want itemized when going from Service Fusion to QuickBooks. You can also choose to have certain data imported or exported automatically as you save your settings or as you do the mass synchronization. And you can have the system automatically send updates to QuickBooks Online as you make changes to your customer's account, product, or services. You can have Service Fusion send certain header information inside an invoice so that the job number, job description, arrival time window, things of that nature can be automatically inserted into the invoice at the very top in the description fields. You can have the PO number transferred into the PO number field inside your QuickBooks Online invoices. You can have customer's name and location information sent as a ship to address. So we give you a lot of personalization preferences here that you can toggle on and off basically. We also synchronize custom fields. So if your QuickBooks Online setup has custom fields defined, those are usually the ones you would find in the settings right here where it says custom fields. If you toggle this to on, and you can define your fields here, save them. Whenever you go into your QuickBooks Online setup on the Service Fusion site, those custom fields will be automatically loaded and you can assign them to certain data fields in Service Fusion so that your text, uh, text assigned or transferred, your sales reps are transferred, job category is transferred, and you can use that later on for reporting purposes inside QuickBooks Online. If you create invoices in QuickBooks Online directly while also creating invoices in Service Fusion, you can toggle the switch to yes so that the invoice numbering is unique across both platforms and there is never an overwritten invoice in QuickBooks Online because the same number also may exist in Service Fusion. This is the setup. Now let's walk through a standard workflow scenario. We're going to create a job, we're going to assign it to a tech, a tech is going to complete it, add some items to an invoice finalize it, receive a payment against it, and we'll watch that data flow right into QuickBooks Online. We've already created our customer. That customer information has been synced to QuickBooks Online automatically because we have the system set to uh, sync transactions as they occur. The next thing to do is to go to my uh, worker app and emulate what a, work, uh, what a field worker would normally do. We're gonna go into the job details. The job is assigned to us, it's dispatched. We're gonna go to the invoice tab and we're gonna add a couple of items just to illustrate um, how this process works. So we're gonna choose this product. It has a sales tax assigned to it. Let's go ahead and add a service. We're gonna choose this service call. It's also taxable. Let's go ahead and add that. So there's our invoice, 1,279 tax of 105.52 total comes down to 1384.52. Let's go ahead and complete this job. Now, I'm skipping a few steps because this is about QuickBooks Online synchronization rather than the, uh, the, the actual workflow. But now what's, once we completed the job, we can go ahead and finalize this invoice. As we finalize this invoice, it's being created in Service Fusion and it is also being created in QuickBooks Online. Invoice number 1261. If we go back here, refresh our page, that status is gonna be changed to invoiced. There's our number and you will find a green icon here. The green icon means that it's been synced to QuickBooks Online. If I go into the invoice details on the Service Fusion side, I see that the invoice is currently unpaid. The sync to uh, QBO button or with QBO button is grayed out, meaning that the invoice has been synced. And you can also notice a QBO ID. This is a unique ID that QuickBooks Online will assign to your invoice. So now let's go back to Abby Smith's account and just simply refresh it. There's our invoice, 1261. We can open up and view the details. 
And as you can see, all the information that I want it to be synced in the top of the invoice is here. We also automatically assign a service date as we create those line items, assuming you have those fields enabled. Text assigned, we're transferred over. And if I had a job category or a sales rep assigned to the job, it would also transfer it automatically into QuickBooks Online. If there was a purchase order number, it would arrive here as well. Okay, now once this is done, we'll go ahead and go back to our workflow and we're gonna apply a payment against this invoice. We can choose to apply a credit card payment, check, cash, the type of payment doesn't matter. It'll flow into QuickBooks Online the same way. So we'll just say receive by test, one, two, three, four, five, some memo, and we're gonna receive a full payment in the amount of 1384.52. Once this payment is received, again, it's being created in Service Fusion and it's being created in QuickBooks Online simultaneously. We're gonna refresh this page. Now the invoice shows as paid in full. We can see this payment right here. And if we go back to QuickBooks Online, once again, refresh our Abby Smith account, the payment is now in QuickBooks Online and it was applied to the invoice. So the invoice is marked as paid, payment is closed. And if we wanted to view the details, we can click on it, see that it was a check payment. There's our reference number, there's our memo. And again, it's applied to the invoice automatically. So anything that happens in Service Fusion when it's set to, so to speak, an autopilot mode or as transactions occur, will automatically be synchronized to QuickBooks Online and the system will even retry failed transactions if for some reason they fail initially. And it'll continue to do it for the following two weeks. I hope you enjoyed the video and we hope that you enjoy our QuickBooks Online integration.